Dana, I know it's obviously been a little bit of a tough stretch lately, but you guys are one of only five teams that have officially punched your ticket to the playoffs. Can you find that balance between knowing, hey, we want to be a little bit better right now, but also looking big picture at what you've accomplished this season as a team? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, like you said, it's such a long season, and this is a bit of a grind. You know, right after after All-Star break going into playoffs, it's uh, those are really the dog days of the season when there's, you know, two months of just, it seems like there's a game every other night, and, uh, you know, it's it's t- kind of see, it's, it's tough to see the light at the end of the tunnel a little bit, so um, like I said, these, you know, I think it was 15 days or so, we're playing pretty much every other night. We got 10 games or whatever. Um, you know, that's no excuse, but we got to find a way to win those games. And, you know, it's no secret that we've been on a little bit of a slump lately. And, and we know we've played better hockey, but, um, you know, it's not like we're that far off. We're just making some mental mistakes, but those are stuff that we can touch up in practice and we're not too concerned going to playoffs. Coach has been really, really pleased with your game. How do you feel you're doing taking advantage of this opportunity? Yeah, I'm just trying to play as simple as possible. And, and it was tough coming in here at the start of the year, starting on the right wing and, and trying to learn the new systems uh, and the new, like, you know, intensity coming from last season. Uh, a much different system. But uh, I think watching over the, fir- the, the the few months that I was sitting out, uh, it, it did help me in ways that, you know, I, I didn't think it would. I was able to really watch and, and ISO some guys and key in on the guys who, you know, Mo really likes and likes their games. And with that intensity, like the Verhaggies and the Bennetts and stuff like that. So um, I watched those guys and just, you know, the, where they're going hard and you know where maybe they can take a not a breath but you know kind of use their brain to rather than just going all out but yeah it helped me so I was able to watch that and um, I came into the lineup and Mo just said play simple you don't have to try and go go score three goals to try and stay in the lineup he just said play simple and use your size and use your speed and that's kind of what I've been trying to do lately and then we've had some success oh thanks to that you just what was it like having that tour of atmosphere I practice and then obviously saw you give one of the kids a stick at the end just what were those moments like that's yeah, cool um you know, uh, Addy mentioned it's, it's Good Friday, so it's nice to see a bunch of kids out there off school coming out and supporting us, and we weren't really expecting it. And, you know, we didn't have a full team skate out there, but they were still showing their support and making some noise when we were scoring goals. So it made us feel feel good, and um, it's nice to see the turnout like that. Like I said, they have a, a day that they can do whatever they want and uh, spend time with their families, but they choose to come out here and support us. So it's it's pretty awesome and it's special. So I'm we're happy to go out there and share that with them. So I was happy to give a stick to, to someone to make their day a little better. And you talk about with the slump you got has been losing six or seven. Now you guys have the playoffs, right? You have a little bit of time to figure things out before the playoffs. Just, I'm not sure if maybe playing looser is the right phrase, but being able to have this time to maybe figure things out and not have to press about getting into the playoffs. How much do you think having the spot secured could help you guys over these next couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, we still have to, to realize that, you know, there's some fine tuning to do, but we're not just satisfied making the playoffs. So it doesn't matter who our opponent is. You know, we saw what happened last year coming in as the, the last seed and, and beating the first place team. Anything can happen. So we got to be prepared for whoever our opponent is that uh, they're going to bring their A game. And like I said, we're not far off from, from our, our game. We know what we got to do and we know what it takes to win. So um, we just got to get back to that. And again, it's nothing major. It's just more mental and uh, little things than anything, little X's and O's. So once we get that, then we're going to be uh, ready to go and we're excited to get going playoffs I mean I feel like every good team has to go through a stretch of losing before they they appreciate what it's like to win and you know this team went through that last year obviously getting right there and having a sniff of what it's like to to almost lose firsthand and watch the team celebrate and it's just like that could have been us right so uh, I think this team is hungrier than ever to to get back to to the dance and get back to the finals and and try to make it right this time thank you thank you you. appreciate it Thank <laughs> you.